Savitri, a legend and a symbol by Sri Aurobindo. The Book of Beginnings Canto 3 The Yoga of the King The Yoga of the Soul's Release inaudible to our deaf mortal ears, the wide world rhythms wove their stupendous chant. to which life strives to fit our rhyme beats here. melting our limits in the illimitable, tuning the finite to infinity. A low muttering rose from the subconscient caves. The stammer of the primal ignorance. Answer to that inarticulate questioning. There stooped with lightning neck and thunder's wings a radiant hymn to the inexpressible and the anthem of the superconscient light. All was revealed there, none can here express. Vision and dream were fables spoken by truth, or symbols more veridical than fact. or were truths enforced by supernatural seals. Immortal eyes approached and looked in his. And beings of many kingdoms neared and spoke.
the ever-living, whom we name as dead, could leave their glory beyond death and birth, to utter the wisdom which exceeds all phrase. The kings of evil and the kings of good Appellants at the reason's judgment seat Proclaim the gospel of their opposites And all believed themselves spokesmen of God. The gods of light and titans of the dark battled for his soul as for a costly prize. In every hour, loosed from the quiver of time, there rose a song of new discovery. A bow twang's hum of young experiment. Each day was a spiritual romance. As if he was born into a bright new world. Adventure leaped an unexpected friend. And danger brought a keen, sweet tang of joy. Each happening was a deep experience. There were high encounters Epic colloquies, and councils came couched in celestial speech. And honeyed pleadings breathed from occult lips. To help the heart to yield to rapture's call. And sweet temptations stole from beauty's realms. And sudden ecstasies from a world of bliss. It was a region of wonder and delight. All now his bright clairaudience could receive. A contact 
thrilled of mighty unknown things. Awakened to new unearthly closenesses, the touch replied to subtle infinities. And with a silver cry of opening gates, Sight's lightnings leaped into the invisible. Ever his consciousness and vision grew. They took an ampler sweep a loftier flight. He passed the border marked for matter's rule. And passed the zone where thought replaces life. Out of this world of signs, suddenly he came into a silent self where world was not, and looked beyond into a nameless vast. These symbol figures lost their right to live. All tokens dropped our sense can recognize. There the heart beat no more at body's touch. There the eyes gazed no more on beauty's shape. In rare and lucent intervals of hush, into a signless region he could soar, Packed with the deep contents of formlessness, where world was into a single being wrapped, and all was known by the light of identity and spirit was its own self-evidence. The Supreme's gaze looked out through human eyes and saw all things and creatures as itself. And knew all thought and word as its own voice.
There, unity is too close for search and clasp. And love is a yearning of the one for the one. And beauty is a sweet difference of the same. And oneness is the soul of multitude. There all the truths unite in a single truth. And all ideas rejoin reality. There, knowing herself by her own termless self, Wisdom, supernal, wordless, absolute, sat uncompanioned in the eternal calm. All seeing, motionless, Sovereign and alone. There, knowledge needs not words to embody idea. Idea, seeking a house in boundlessness, Weary of its homeless immortality, asks not in thoughts carved brilliant cell to rest. Whose single windows clip outlook on things. sees only a little arc of God's vast sky. The boundless, with the boundless their consorts, while there one can be wider than the world. While there, one is one's own infinity. His center was no more in earthly mind. A power of seeing silence filled his limbs. Caught by a voiceless white epiphany, into a vision that surpasses forms, into a living that surpasses life. He neared the still consciousness sustaining all.
the voice that only by speech can move the mind. became a silent knowledge in the soul. The strength that only in action feels its truth was lodged now in a mute omnipotent peace. A leisure in the labour of the worlds. A pause in the joy and anguish of the search restored the stress of nature to God's calm. A vast unanimity ended life's debate. The war of thoughts that fathers the universe the clash of forces struggling to prevail in the tremendous shock that lights a star as in the building of a grain of dust. The grooves that turn their dumb ellipse in space ploughed by the seeking of the world's desire the long regurgitations of time's flood, the torment edging the dire force of lust, that wakes kinetic in earth's dullard slime, and carves a personality out of mud. The sorrow by which nature's hunger is fed The oysters which creates with fire of pain the fate that punishes virtue with defeat. The tragedy that destroys long happiness the weeping of love the quarrel of the gods seized in a truth which lives in its own light. His soul stood free, a witness and a king.
absorbed no more in the moment-ridden flux. Where mind incessantly drifts as on a raft, hurried from phenomenon to phenomenon, he abode at rest in indivisible time. as if a story long written but acted now. In his present he held his future and his past. Felt in the seconds the uncounted years and saw the hours like dots upon a page. An aspect of the unknown reality altered the meaning of the cosmic scene. This huge material universe became a small result of a stupendous force. Overtaking the moment, the eternal ray. Illumined that which never yet was made. Thought lay down in a mighty voicelessness. The toiling thinker widened and grew still. Wisdom transcendent touched his quivering heart. His soul could sail beyond thought's luminous bar. Mind screened no more the shoreless infinite. Across a void retreating sky he glimpsed through a last glimmer and drift of vanishing stars, the superconscient realms of motionless peace, where judgment ceases and the word is mute. And the unconceived lies pathless and alone. There came not form or any mounting voice.
There only was silence and the absolute. Out of that stillness, mind newborn arose. and woke to truths once inexpressible. And forms appeared, dumbly significant. A seeing thought, a self-revealing voice. He knew the source from which his spirit came. Movement was married to the immobile vast. He plunged his roots into the infinite. He based his life upon eternity.